Ian, are you happy about the performance? Are you disappointed? Confused? Or what's... First half, we, it seemed like uh, we couldn't get to grips with Gare going 1 0 down. And, but when you concede a goal as early as that at Old Trafford, you've got plenty of time to get back into the game. So, but I felt we, we didn't deal with that particularly well. And uh, lucky to go in half time with, uh, with one each, I felt. It was, but second half was good. Second half was uh, we put pressure on them, create chances. Yeah, they could have, uh, they, they had a decent chance as well, back stick with Je uh, Grealish, but we created loads of big ones that we should have, should have won this game. Um, but overall, I don't think we deserved to, especially after first half. Sorry. How do you assess the progress of the team so far this season? Now we've sort of had a little bit of a, you know, a few, a few games. You, is it about where you thought it would be, or is it a bit disappointing? Or? Well, you do get uh, with a young team. We, we are a young team, and I don't want to use that as an excuse, but because we are Man United and we want to get a run, and as soon as we get a run of three or four games together here now, that's what we need. That's what these boys need. I feel, and. Uh, uh, we'll just have to make sure we do everything right now until Wednesday because it's a short and quick turnaround. The Lindelof goal was the first headed league goal you've had in 2019. How do you explain that stat and how have you worked <laughs> to, to try to score more goals like that? Didn't uh, Rashford head it? It's an own goal actually. It's an own goal, all right. Um, well, that's part, that's part of the game that we have to improve on, and uh, of course uh, we've had a, had a few decent chances over the over the course of the season. So, uh, uh, but I was pleased with that goal. We should have kept on to that lead, of course. But then uh, when they get a corner straight away, uh, they are a very physical side. Play the clever clever corner, and um, we just couldn't as a team get up. Uh, and play him on uh, offside. But when it comes to that uh, Rashford goal, you, as a striker, you know, statistics are important for self confidence and everything. Do you think it's a bit strange that it's awarded a known goal when you see the ball kind of spinning? I've not seen it uh, on the video, so I'll see the video and uh, I can't understand if it's not a Rashford goal, but that's what do I know? About goals. Sorry. <laughs> what do you what do you say to people who who say Man United are ninth after fourteen games? Man United shouldn't be ninth, no matter what rebuilding is happening. Uh, you can. We don't. Uh, how do you say? I wouldn't have sat here and talked about us being fifth if we got that one goal extra. So it, the, the the league table uh, at this point is not the the. Um, the biggest uh, concern, because uh, it's so tight. We, I just need to make sure that we get performances and get three or four performances after each other and results. The, what I can say is so far we've had the lead in so many games and we haven't been able to win those games six, seven times, I'm sure, that we've been 1-0 up or 2-1 like today or 3-2 like last week. And we should be better at uh, seeing them games into wins. Well, since, since you got the job permanently, you've won six games in 22 league matches, I think. What, what makes you confident that you could actually go on a run of five, six wins in the bounce? Because there's no evidence to suggest this team... Well, I think there's uh, loads of evidence that these boys are uh, clo uh, closer to uh, winning games than, than losing games. And uh, to tip their margins in our favour, of course, we've got to work on different things. Today, first half wasn't good enough. Disappointed in that because all the boys uh, stayed here uh, while the young boys and us went over to Kazakhstan. So we should have been coming out of the traps quicker. And first half wasn't good enough. Second half was was what we want to see. Some of the fans around us were giving Pereira a bit of stick. I know you said a few weeks ago that he's had a bit of criticism and he put a good cross in for the goal, but he has started a lot of games this season. Is, is that becoming out of necessity because there is a midfield shortage there or is it a difficult situation with him? Andreas is improving all the time. He's a young boy that's uh, working hard every single day to, uh, to improve his game and he's played quite a few games this year, yeah. And uh, he's... We found more or less his position earlier on in the season. He's, uh, he's, he's an attacking midfielder. Of course, when you when you lack your three, call it more uh, experienced uh, with Nemanja, Paul, and Scott, 
uh, Andreas uh, has, to, has to cover uh, that role and he's, he's doing a job for the team. Ali, you spoke about giving up leads. What, what is that down to? Is it lack of experience, composure? Or... Probably uh, a few things. Uh, then again, uh, <laughs> Experience, yeah, we are a young team, and we are probably the youngest team in the league. And but that shouldn't—that's not an excuse for us to uh, to not uh, see games out and uh, not winning games that we are winning, because uh, we've put ourselves in that position as well to win games. And then what we uh, want to see then is to get two two goal lead and three goal leads. Uh, so we uh, disappointed today that we conceded straight away after uh, after getting the lead, and then the game became more end-to-end -end than it should have been. Uh, because if you if you can control the game winning, then you can control the tempo of it. We we weren't able to. There's a, there a couple of... Uh, there's one incident in the first half thing when Matt had put a great ball across the six-yard area. And it, again, in the second half, Dan James, there's just no one on yeah. the end of it. Do you feel your team's lacking at the centre-forward who can make those runs who get those sort of goals regularly? Today we created chances to be there, stood there three three yards away from goal and just tap it in. And uh, of course then Dan created some chances down his right one. That was a decent uh, chance as well for us. So yes, uh, we have said it a few times. We've got players who score worldies. Uh, and then, but get yourself them four or five extra goals every season. It'll give us points. It'll give them confidence. And so... Um, but we're working on this. It's not that they stand outside the box because they don't think the ball's coming. Uh, so it could have been a couple of tappings there today for uh, for some of the boys. Is there any sorry, sorry, there's a question Ollie, there the back. Yeah. Ollie, um, yeah. Huge praise for uh, Jack Grealish, the goal he scored today. Uh, a lot of commentary on him, you too. I just wonder what you thought of him. And is this, this the kind of player that Manchester United are lacking? <laughs> uh, I can't talk too much about uh, other teams' players if they're uh, Man United uh, caliber or uh, targets, but a fantastic goal! I think he hit one of them, uh, you know, them corners that I've hit a couple of times. So uh, it was a great, great finish. But then again, we should defend better. Show him down the left, to be fair. So, uh, but uh, what a goal! And he uh, he played a good game. Ollie, is there any? Sorry, is there any update on uh, Pogba and McTominay in terms of Wednesday night? Uh, we still got two days. Uh, we need to uh, look at everyone here as well. Uh, we've only got two days, so let's see. Uh, hopefully, we could uh, can see uh, one of them on the pitch. But we'll. They are working hard behind behind the scenes.